mind. Anyway, conditioned reflexes. Um, conditioned reflexes, it's a CR. It's a CR or a conditional reflex, as um, Ivan Pavlov once said. Um, more correctly, it was conditional reflex. Anyway, blah, 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 all this stuff. It's a conditioned response. It is something you learn through ontogeny. It is the result of classical conditioning. Right? So when you think of Pavlov's puppies, I like to call them puppies, it just makes them nicer. Um, so you got Pavlov's puppies, they have this metronome, tick, 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 meat powder, metronome, meat powder, metronome, meat powder. It wasn't a bell. Metronome, meat powder. Eventually you go metronome and the dog goes <laughs> salivation all over the place, right? The salivation in that case to the sound of the metronome is a conditioned reflex. Some people think that conditioned reflexes have it be exactly like the unconditional reflex. They don't. Sometimes it goes the opposite direction, which is called a compensatory conditional reflex. Right? So, but anyway, the point is, is that a learned stimulus, a CS, elicits, special emphasis on the word elicit, a conditional response or a conditioned reflex, right? Lots of terms get interchangeable here. So CRs, classical conditioning, the effect of presentation of a CS, 